Hello everyone and welcome to this guide on migrating your Minecraft login to a Microsoft account which applies to Java Edition players of the game like myself. Now you may have already seen some messages on the launcher of the game informing you on this account migration and when your account is actually selected you'll see this pop up in the launcher itself. Now this provides you with links to an FAQ and the support website in case you run into any issues and I too am going to link to those resources in the description box just in case you run into any issues. And the most important one that you may potentially run into is trying to migrate an account where you don't have access to the original email. So make sure you can get into your email address before you start this migration. And if it happens to be so that you don't have access to the email, then refer to the FAQ. There is a link there for people who don't have access to the email address associated with their account. So to get started with the account migration, you need to click on the Get Started button. It'll either be on that pop-up or it'll be in the launcher at the bottom of the screen. When you click on this, it's actually going to open your web browser and prompt you to log into your Mojang account. That is the account you usually use to log in and play the game. Once you've logged in, you're going to see this screen with some very basic instructions and a big green button saying move my account. And that is where we click to start the process. And some of you will point this out. You can actually just skip using the launcher and log straight into your account on the Mojang website to start this process. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box too. What you're going to see next is a prompt to verify your email address. If you click on get code, you're going to be sent an email. And the email should look something like this. And what you'll notice is that you have one of those codes you need to copy and paste over to the website. So of course you want to paste this into the confirmation code box and then click submit and start migration. And here is where you may have a multiple of options. You might already have a Microsoft account with the same email address. If you don't want to use that one, you have the option to use a different Microsoft account. You might find that another Mojang account has already been migrated to this Microsoft account and so you'll need a different one. Or you'll have the option to create a Microsoft account with that email address if you don't already have one. The sign up process for this is pretty simple. You'll create a password, you'll hand over some basic details, and then you'll be assigned with your gamer tag, which is something we'll come back to later in the video. But now let's proceed as if you've just selected your Microsoft account already. You'll probably then see a couple of security prompts asking you if you want to update your details or stay logged in. And after that, you'll be on the final step. You'll see this almost there screen where you've got a big green button saying complete move and that's what you need to click. It also informs you of what your gamer tag is here, which is not to be confused with the username you associate with your Mojang account. And if all has gone successful, once you've clicked that button, you'll see this screen with move complete. In this part of the website, you can also navigate to your profile where you can see your usernames. Profile name is the one that you would see inside of Java Edition and your Xbox Gamer Tag is what you would see if you were playing Minecraft Dungeons or Bedrock Edition of the game. You can also use this part of the website to change your skin or to assign your cape and because you've successfully migrated, you'll now have access to the Migrator Cape. Now there is one final step which tends to trip people up when they load the launcher back up. You'll be prompted to log in with your Mojang account and this will not work. You'll have to click on go back in order to sign in with your Microsoft account. And this is what you'll see when you click go back and of course you want to click on Microsoft login, enter your details and then you'll be able to play the game from your Microsoft account. And then your launcher should look something like this. You can see my gamer tag up the top here. When I click down here, I can see the other accounts that I have. And of course, this one here will no longer be accessible as I have migrated it into my Microsoft account. And so you can see here in game that I successfully migrated as of proof of me wearing this cape. So now for the common questions. Does this affect your saved worlds, your realm servers, resource packs? No, it affects none of that stuff. Can you migrate multiple Mojang accounts to one Microsoft? The answer is no, in the same way that you can't have multiple Minecraft users on one Mojang account. This does indeed mean if you do have multiple accounts, you'll need to make the migration a multiple of times. Now, if you have a legacy account which isn't attached to a Mojang account, there currently isn't a process for migration, but there is going to be one in the future. Now the migration process isn't reversible as well, so you can't change your mind after doing all of this. 
And last of all, as you've seen, you get a gamer tag, but you get to keep your normal Minecraft username. I am still Asuma, as you can see at the top of the screen. Now I probably didn't cover every little detail for every scenario and that's what the FAQ and the Mojang support team are for so if you still have any issues those resources are linked in the description box below. And this brings us to the end of the video so if it was useful to you in any way please do leave a like to support the channel and share this with anyone you might know who's struggling with the account migration and hopefully it will be able to help them. Anyway that's it from me I'll see you later bye bye.